just uh, talk about, like, I guess, a, a message that or talk to you had to continue to try to get across in Boston. Is there anything that you try to tell me you try to say to the team? Uh, it's just something that needed to be said, but you know that's probably more internal than anything. Yeah, um, we're just talking about you know like one, two steps versus hop steps, when to use the hop step, why you use the hop step. Um, you know, it's something that I use sometimes based on the timing of the pass or where that third defender is. So like, if I feel like I'm running out of room as I'm running towards the ball or away from the ball, sometimes if you're running towards the sideline, um, you know, you can't really one, two like you want to, so you kind of shoot more of a hop. Uh, and then just some footwork stuff, uh, you know, that I learned probably not till year eight or nine. So I was, you know, showing him some stuff that I've uh, stolen from Clay Thompson, um, just on the right side on on like fade screens, um, stepping side stepping with the right foot. Um, but yeah, and then the other thing is just like you know when we're shooting spot shots. You know, you really, I mean, I guess he got some last night. I don't shoot, I don't get a lot of spot shots because people uh, tend to face guard me even when I'm on the other side of the court. So, um, you know, I think you have to, you, you can't always shoot like on the move. Just like, it's just not, it's not good for your body, you know? So you, you actually have to shoot spot shots. And so part of the rhythm of shooting spot shots is, you know, changing your footwork. And like, he tends to just shoot like, which is good. I mean, just trying to get into rhythm, but it's the same shot every time. But that's not really how you get to shoot in a game. You know, from a young age, young age, we're taught that a great shooter shoot the ball the same way every time. But that is actually a, a fallacy. Uh, to be a great shooter, you need to be able to shoot the ball in a multitude of ways. Um, release point, footwork, on balance, off balance. It, it's. I, I always talk about it, but it's you know mastering mechanics in imperfect environments, and that's really what shooting in a game is. Are there teammates that have helped you kind of discover some of these like tricks of the trade? No, I. I, I was a self-taught shooter from a young age, and I'm I'm basically, um, I'm like a early 2000s Kaza whatever it's called pirate yeah. of music. Except I'm a pirate of shooting. I just steal things from people and then use it for my own benefit. What did you make of uh, Markel's shot selection last night, his decisions, the stuff that he passed up, the stuff that he decided to shoot on? Well, ultimately, you got to shoot when you're, when you're, you know, when you feel comfortable. Um, I thought, you know, his mid-range uh, shots were great. You know, I think he, if they're going to play him like that, that's a shot he can make. Um, and, you know, I think we all from the bench were encouraging to, to take those shots. Um, I know the crowd was too. Um, and, you know, I, I was happy to see him, you know, feel confident enough to shoot above the break three off the dribble, which is, uh, you know, great. And it, it obviously went in too. So, but he, he was, uh, I, liked, I liked his aggressiveness last night. I know you just said you're a pirate. Was there any player <laughs> earlier in your career? I know you, yeah. I agree with you, like, you have a unique style. It's not yeah. that easy. Um, yeah. Was there any player earlier in your career where kind of took you under their wing and taught you I don't know, something on the court? or, or from, sh from like a shooting thing? No, anything. Oh, um, yeah. Um, like he on dueling, I always talk about him, but like, like, I, I feel like I, I learned how to be a cutter from Keon. I learned how to change change pace from Keon. And you probably wouldn't think that because he's not like a catch-and-shoot player. But um, he was he was unbelievable at changing pace. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think who else. You know, the, I would say I, 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 I learned a lot of things from a distance. So, like, my, my sort of, like, my foundation of, like, how I learned how to shoot was, like, from watching Ray Allen. Um, and I actually, we probably shoot in a similar way because he, he's probably one of the best flat shooters ever. He's one of the best shooters ever, but in terms of like shooting a flat basketball, there's not many guys, and I shoot a pretty flat basketball. Um, 
Peja was another guy that I stole a bunch of stuff from. I mean, Peja was really the first guy that was like hunting threes in transition. And we used to watch tape of him when I was at Duke. And, you know, coach used to just basically say, like, you have a green light to do that. And so when Peja was with the Kings, you know, I would stay up and watch games of his. And uh, he's another guy, like, he had a kind of an unorthodox release. And, um, and so I kind of learned from him, like, you don't have to shoot the ball in the seams. You know, so a lot of guys will like kind of adjust the ball as they catch it. And like, you know, there's something to be said when you're shooting rhythm shots in practice for that. But typically in the game, like you don't have time. So you just got to shoot the ball even if it's off the seams. And so I took that from Peja. Um, the one thing I'm trying to think if the one thing that I, I do, do really well and probably Bradley Beal would be a guy that's really good. Clay, too, is like, you know, as, a, as an offensive player, like, in catch and shoot opportunities, like, everybody's taught to, like, sort of be physical with you. And, like, you, you actually have to learn how to embrace that. And so, like, you, you use, like, the physicality against guys and you basically run them into screens because they're so close to you. And so, like, Clay and, and Bradley are really good at that. So I've, I've just kind of taken that from them. And also the rifle action, the, the catch and go that I do, I started doing in LA, that's straight Bradley Beal. I took that from, he got, he scored like 25 against this one year, my first year in LA, and I was like, oh, I'm taking that. And uh, and so I've used that ever since. What's your take on the Markel starting first half, you starting the second half routine so far, two games in, and do you think it's something that can work for a long, for a long term? Uh, you know, we'll see if it can work. I'm, I'm all for it. I mean, whatever is, is needed by the team, uh, Brett thinks that puts you know Marco in a good situation. Then I'm all for it. Where have you seen uh, evidence of maybe Ben's work habits uh, being a little bit different going back to the year two? Uh, Brett mentioned that he, you know he's kind of seen something different. Yeah, no, he, he's. Uh, I think there's uh, there's a difference between like clocking in for work and, and actually sort of you know engaging in, in the process of getting better and working at your craft. And I think he's done an unbelievable job. Uh, I know this summer he worked extremely hard and uh, he's been great, you know, just in terms of being here early, working on his game before and after practice, working on his body. Um, you know, he's, it takes everybody time. You know, it takes years, it takes, you know, 10 years sometimes for guys to get it. Um, so Ben is finishing a lot of progress in that area. All right, thanks guys. Thanks, Thank you.